Canadians on the ground. Canadians on ice! Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about NHL games for the Nintendo GameCube. NHL Hits isn't a simulation game, it's 3 on 3 extreme hockey. And a nice part of the game is that it has extras. Like for example, you are playing a normal hockey game and out of the sudden two players have some beef and they start fighting. And suddenly the game becomes a fighting game and not a hockey game anymore. You have a button to punch and one to block and you can even get combo moves for when you fight in between plays. The game has more depth to it too. For example, player stats vary and they aren't just a number. Some players are speedier or others handle better or are harder to knock down because a bigger player is harder to be knocked down by a smaller player. And the game modes don't disappoint either. You get an exhibition mode, a season mode where you go against all 30 teams in the game and a franchise mode. And also there is a practice mode called skills and you get before matches a quiz so that you can earn some extra points and those points can be spent in the in-game shop. You can even unlock alien teams. It's a nice game. It's a nice game overall. And the same goes for NHL Hits 2003, which seems to be the same game but with a different paint job. It's still awesome and some slight improvements can be seen. For example, NHL Hits 2003 has a better AI, though people still complain that the game is too easy and that it still has the rubber band AI. Rubber band AI is that AI that no matter how you play, the computer will just adjust. If you score big, then the AI will make it tougher for you to score, but if you play lousy, then the AI will just adapt and make the game easier for you. Also, the controls feel a little tight in 2003 and the graphics were slightly improved. NHL 2003 is still more arcadey than a simulation, but the graphics and the number of players imitate reality. And the game is awesome, not only that you get all the game modes you would expect from a game like this in 2003, like franchise, season mode, exhibition, but the new hot feature in the game is the game breaker feature. By doing digs, you fill up your meter. And when you get the meter full, the game slows down and you can score in slow motion. Though the mode isn't effective, as you're not foolproof when you're in slow motion and the camera gets to a weird angle that hinders you to see everything. But it's fun to perform digs, as you have plenty of moves you can perform and they make you feel good. Also the game has more animations and it's nice that you can adjust a lot of things. Even the elasticity of the puck. NHL Hits Pro has some notable differences to the other Hits games. First off, it's not 3-on-3 three -three hockey anymore, but 5-on-5. Five -five. And the awesome experience is intact. You get the same wealth of game modes and the same customizable parameters, and with those, the game can get however you want. You can have a game full of fights, or you can set it to some super speed or to a lower speed so that you can process what you're playing. You can even shut down your console, though that's not a direct feature of the game, but it's still possible. The fighting mechanics have been replaced with some sort of quick events, which I don't like. Overall, it's a fantastic hockey game, just like the other ones on this list. NHL 2005 brings a new game mode, the World Cup game mode, where well, you guessed it, you take control of the planet using your evil schemes, no, you just become world champion. And another game mode is the free for all mode, where 4 players battle for the pack to score, and this every man for himself mode is a nice addition, it's fun. Other than that, you can see a graphical boost and the dynasty mode is deeper now, having more options. Though one major flaw of the dynasty mode is that for example, if one of your players gets injured, you don't get not notified and that has a big impact on the whole season. Also the game developers listened to the fans and fixed some aspect fans didn't like. That's how NHL 2005 has a more responsive passing system and more aggressive checking and other bugs fixed. NHL 2006 is pretty similar to 2005. To summarize, 
it's 2005 tweaked. The game developers listened to the fans again about what was wrong with 2005, so that in 2006 they fixed a big part of the issues present in the previous game. So basically, 2006 is 2005 but with updated rosters and rules and a new paint job. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks, you have the link to the join button in the description. Also you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord if you want. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.